our next poet actually does not even need an introduction. She's no stranger to the Poetry Africa stage. Um, she has made tremendous contributions to the arts in South Africa and the world at large. Um, Dog Takwinam Shope is an author, poet, playwright, storyteller, performer, director. I swear, this woman does not sleep. Please help me welcome on stage Mama Utsinam Shope. Amata, Almighty God, shine your light and your unchanging love on all the children of Africa, Africa, our land. Mbeli, Mudimu Amata, Almighty God, shine your light and your all unchanging love on all the children of Africa, Africa, our land. Open our eyes. Open our hearts to see and know what a gift they are, a gift from you, our Lord. Open our eyes, open our hearts to see and know what a gift they are, a gift from you, our Lord. Bakusele mi abantuana bantuana metu ibani gutando abantuana sazi danga bo nibani gimpundo abantuana bantuana metu bakulenga yo abantuana. Siazi dangabo bamazutiko abantuana bantuana betu bamutu mise abantuana siazi dangabo bakiengomkulo abantuana bantuana betu. Oh, Africa, have unto Anna, Siazi Dangabo. San Monanekai. Kunja in Amtanje. Angia Togos, a Kuluban Nani. Thank you so much to the Center for Creative Arts for Poetry Africa to invite us to be here tonight and uh, throughout the festival. And um, I'm honoring every single one of the amazingly talented poets. Oh, yeah, for you. <laughs> one of the most beautiful things about being at festivals like these is to see where people are, what people are thinking, what are the things that move them, what, what's going on in their lives, and also to hear the different languages. There's so much musicality in every language. To be able to use our languages, I think I was very blessed at a young age, to first learn to speak Isizulu, and then to find myself in the Eastern Cape learning to speak Isikosa. And uh, there are these kind of writers who write the kind of poetry that jumps off the page. You know those people. <laughs> Manje, <laughs> I was um, at high school, and I was uh, reading this man. I never thought I would meet a living, walking, talking writer. 
I thought they wrote their books and then they died. Oh, Shakespeare was dead. Wordsworth, Wordsworth dead. My favorite uh, author, A.C. Jordan, dead. Obanomuny, Umsimang, dead. Obanomuny, H.I.E. Domo, dead. Obanomuny. Ah, Obesapi Lagayen. Luckily, he was still alive when I was at high school. But many of the people that I was reading had gone. And I thought, who? I want to be a writer. Should man bale and jagabili gata to fi? Hambane nembul. Now, this writer, I love A.C. Jordan, but there's another writer who writes in his course who always holds a space in my mind, just sits there and chills. Ati Kote Kuka Nwelio Kotuga. Kope Mangabe ni Kapa Kali Kuli Tonti Niti. Huh? Imagine. Kote Kuka Nwelio Kotuga. He says, you are running in short little steps. You are the caravan that takes us home. Ati. Kope Mangabe ni Kapa Kali Kuli. You squat on people's wounds. And all the blood and all the ones, it's evident in your face like a true vulture that you are. He's talking about death. Hmm? He talks about death. And now, when you get people who write in this manner who make all of these pictures with words, why on earth wouldn't you fall in love with his language? Why wouldn't you? So I love languages because of that. We write in these different languages but Whoa, this one is about a man called the Utatung Aimban. When you are an outsider, you are in a place, uh, you start um, noticing people um, because you are an outsider. So this old man was fascinating for me. It's called I fell in love. I fell in love with an old man's prayer, the way he knelt down on one knee and raised the other to rest his hands on, the way he lifted his face up to the sky and raised his thunderous voice to fill the church. I fell in love with an old man's prayer, the way he took a deep breath to last him long and praised the God he knew, loved and heard him. He praised the God he knew to be the sun that shines over our homes, whether we are rich or poor. The sun that gave us warmth, light, and the very life. I fell in love with the old man's prayer. The way his whole body swayed steadily as he praised the God he knew to be the moon that shines over our homes to reassure us at night. He praised the God he knew provided the water we drink and the air we breathe. The God who, whose many eyes shone like stars all over us. And he took that breath so that he can look at us afresh. His kind of God did not sound like a man with a white dress and a white beard. I fell in love with a young girl's voice, the way she sang the Methodist church hymns like they were written just for her. The way she stood with her legs apart, that was crucial for her to sing. The way she smiled and scratched the back of her neck always when she caught me staring at her. I miss the way she always searched for my hand, always when the old man was about to start his prayer. The two of us never closed our eyes. I fell in love with the old man's prayer, the way he prayed for us 
young and old, but more for the young and the unborn, the way he seemed to relax and lower his voice. He began to have a conversation with God. He stressed that this was a difficult time. He began to ask God if he saw the need for extra strength for the future did not look very good. He wondered if God had it all planned that for some of his people would have everything and others would have nothing. He wondered if God had it all planned that for a part of our stay here on earth, some of the people would be poor, others would have everything until it was time for the change over. I fell in love with the old man's prayer, the way he changed the tone of his voice. He wanted God to see sense. He stressed that it was way too long for the one half to keep on bearing their problems. Surely it must be now time for the changeover. Surely, surely God did not want the young to grow up in this darkness. Surely God did not want the unborn to arrive in this cold. Didn't God know that we'd forget how to cook if we have got no food at all? Doesn't God know that we'll forget how to build homes if we do not have land to build them? I, I fell in love with the simplicity of the prayer. Food to eat and a house to make a home. Yeah, boy. This poem, when I wrote it, I hoped it wouldn't make sense in 2018. You just wish. It's called um, Leader, Remember. Leader, remember the time you spent fighting for your freedom and that of your people. The time you played hide and go seek with the oppressor man till he caught you at last, put you in chains and leg irons, threw you in jail, believing in his rotten heart that you'll never again see the light of day. Leader, remember how strongly you fought. Your freedom-loving spirit kicking hard and refusing to die. Your vision for a better day, giving you power and endurance immeasurable. In that cruel torture chamber, while your body lay on the cold cement floor, your spirit escaped through the window and went to mingle with other spirits of countless freedom fighters deep in Africa's rainforests, where the equatorial moisture whispered that timeless message all freedom fighters know. Don't give up. Don't give up. Here, take with you self-respect. Selflessness, fight for your people. Leader, remember the day you walked out the very minute, the very second, as your right foot stepped outside, outside the gates of that jail. Fist in the air, sun in your face, the joy that washed over you like bucketfuls of honey. The pain that touched your soul like a poisoned arrow of wasted years and potential. At the same time, you eagerly greeted the mammoth task that lay ahead. You vowed and promised to do all in your power to build a better future for you and your people. Leader, remember the long-suffering women and men, the dignity they lost. Think of the very young and the very old, the hunger they learn to live with in the land of plenty. Leader, remember the promises you made, the hope you represent. Leader, remember you now stand at history's crossroads. Compass in hand, the walking stick of your people's experiences, helping you fill the potholes as you lead the way. Leader, remember 
corruption and lies will no doubt double the pain they once knew. Please remember, betrayal hurts more than the sting of a million scorpions. Leader, remember, we wish you peace in your heart. We wish you the eagle's sharp vision. We wish you the ancient African tortoise's wisdom. We wish you the mighty elephant's memory. So, leader, remember, the mystic, equatorial moisture whispering that timeless message all freedom fighters know don't give up don't give up here take with you love self-respect selflessness fight for your people p.s the struggle is never over leader remember I, uh, I think um, when we talk about history, it is nice when we think about um, good times, isn't it? When you're proud and you're telling people about where you come from and what happened. And we're living in times now where you're asking somebody what is their family name. And they say the family name. Besuti, Zetini, Tagazalu. Oh, man, Kurungas, Angaz, Botswan, Angaz. They hide their faces. So that is why then I wrote a song like this. When you look at your lineage, that the praise, um, the, 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 the praises, the family praise names, they, they come about, they're about where we come from. Mamegubus, I want to be this way. We ought to loot in Nina. Mamegubus, I want to be this way. We ought to loot in Nina. Oh, to loot in Nina. Oh, Mazumalum, oh, Mazumamane to loot in Nina. Oh, Mazumshan, oh, Mazumzala to loot in Nina. Mamegubus, I want to be this way. We ought to loot in Nina. Mamegubus, I want to be this way. We ought to loot in Nina. We all come from who come visit Obonga Pananga Pa? We all come from Mang. Who come visit Obonga Pananga Pa? Mamegubu Saban to be this way. We ought to loot in Nina. Mamegubu Saban to be this way. We ought to loot in Nina. How mazum cool. Oh, Mazukoko to Lutini. Thank you. If you don't know where your umbilical cord is buried, if you do not know where's the land of your ancestors, if you do not know who, you, who are your great, great grandparents, who your own grandparents are, who your parents are, who your aunts and uncles are, who your cousins are, when people of other nations ask you who you are, will you keep quiet? We are too little now. You will, will you keep quiet? Or, Zokamba Mango Kombi You might just go around asking, Are you my relative? Are you my relative? Because you never bothered to find out about your own ancestry. Let's be educated. Let's be sophisticated. Let's be cosmopolitan. Let's be world travelers. Let's be globe trotters. Even the eagles, no matter how high they fly, they land sometimes. 
they land sometimes. So let's remember where we come from. Babum led. What a joy that you are here. Say a bong, Babum led. Say a bong, say a bong. Go slowly, Pabena, say a bong. Wanda Walu Omtaga. Umlando, Indo Enzima. Umlando. Isilo esma kanda kanda esi kumba simi balabala miningi tushe inga balegi. Imi balabala evusa usinga ijabuli se inklizio pagati ne minye eti ivuse umunyu no sizi lapo sesi kumbula izi kamego ezashia o koko no koko se beba ambe unge zaanti. Umlando bagwetu into enzima. Lesi silo sima kanda kanda. Sige siti uma usibuga. Usibugi sisa. Utwale. Ukuzi kenya. Uzwe. Izi kupu. Ezi nga ziwa. Nukuti zishaya ngubani. Zishaya gamnanti. Nga paka tikuwena. Aziti ku. Ku. Aziti ku. Aziti ku. Ku. Aziti ku. Aziti ku. Ku. Aziti ku. Inga nipela, ama kuku esi izwe lana, aya kwebeze la, aya kazimula, ati waza, ala gimi manje, gitinte gase, unpulule, unpulule gamnanji, ukabise, na ukabise ngami, umautanda, maketane, ukumbule, ukumbulisise, ukuti ungubani, ufisani, upumapi, upogopelepi na empilweni. Uguze temba. Uguze temba po. Ye kawena. Kum nandi ngisho. Kutokoze nezinzwane ukopo. Ye paeli nye ikanda. Lesilo. Lia penduga. Usatu ya zikacha. Nona liti. Mana. Mana kona lapo. Mana. Akubona botwa. Ubu ufe. Obu semilandwe ni wako. No mafuti. Umlando. Wasipina esinye isizwe. Kumbula. Kumbula nezi bushungu, izi kamego, uguze, ufunde, ukule, ukukweme, ukubuyele emuva, kulezo zikati. Ezi tanda, ukukataza umoya wako, inga nipela, inflizio, ya tanda, ukulalisa, yembese, futi ifite, izi nkumbulo, ezi mbi. Pela, inflizio, isuga, yengaba, nezi nyembe zizayo, eze, sayo, zikopo, kopo, ze, lapo, isi, kakamba, galu, sizana, genga, yogubona, obubi, obusebu, sweni, besilo, esi, makanda, kanda, giteba, wetu, umlando, indo, enzima. Nesi, silo, esi, spaga, mise, lona, laga, labali, mbi, ikanda, leli, kupuge, nama, nama, dala, wona, ama, ngaiba, lapo, se, si, isho, impela, siti, umlando, indo, enzima, si, kuluma, ngezi, indo, mbi, Esi zikumbulayo, isi ntombi zenyuke. Eza asho na kabutungu, zilwe la malunge la azo. Isi kati, sasi ngafani nesa na muta, umcheto wezwe, waunga vumi, gisho, uguti zilogote, uivula, imilonya na yazo. Inko sutechwa yo, uwae, ngaguli ndele, neze, ogwe nzega, ke pagitina, izi ntombi zenyuke, zinga, makawe gazi, esi wakumbulayo, genkulu nchonipo, sisho futi siti, ugula shega, kwe zimbilo zazo, aglo na izeleze, kusipa amandla, kusipa imbuselelo, kusivula ameto gabusha, konuguze, natisi pegane, neza namuta, izi ngenamba. Kwa ba tala na ba ngane, lesi isi kati, so gulwa impi, yogu zaka, ugu akana, ugu kutazana, ugu utandana, ugu bonisana, ugu paramisana, ugu onda pambili, sakisi zwe, isi zwe, isi le, sgamtania, yebo ba wetu, umlando, into enzima, isi lo, esi makanda, kanda, onge kretu, wabala, isi lo, esi mi ibala, bala, onge kretu, wibala, ke pagitina, siti si afunda, ikini so li le, ini dolo mu Afrika, ini dolo. Masi Kuluma Ngei kate zinjena Si zamuguti Should I try and translate that People did not 
Gempel. Hey, let's try. That's a Zamu George, man. A Zamu George. Let's try to do this poem in George now. <laughs> History is a heavy matter. History is a heavy matter. It is a strange animal with multiple heads, colors too many to even count. The creature's unique colors have a way of awakening the most indescribable pride. The pride that shines and fills you with so much joy. Also, the others bring back such memories, the, the very worst memories of events that left our ancestors perplexed and speechless. And then it also makes you feel such joy. You hear massive drums pounding deep in your heart with invisible hands beating a rhythm that goes a goo, a goo, it goes goo, goo, another goo, goo, another goo, another goo, goo, another goo. Reminding you that these colors and faces and eyes are the proud heritage of a nation. They are shining, glittering brightly when one of the heads speaks directly, saying to you, come closer. Go on, touch me. Feel free to even caress me if you so wish. Yes, go on, show off, tell the world. What a great achiever you are. Just by mentioning my name, then remember who you are, where you are from, and where you are going. The warm glow of happiness so overwhelming, the smile spreads down to your very toes. And such indescribable pride about your history. Whoa! But then one of the creature's heads turns around and shouts, Stop! Stop right there! Remember that it is not only great events that make up your history of that or that of another, any other nation. Apply your mind. Remember well the pain, painful atrocities and terrible mistakes. Learn, grow, be certain not to return to those times that hurt you, your very soul. It is clear that the heart loves to suppress, cover well all those painful memories. That is why it wants to avoid wasting its precious tears. Oh, how they flow unstoppable when the heart breaks into many tiny pieces as it sees the ugliness on the face of the multi-headed beast, head raised up high, threatening, opening the worst and deepest wounds, prompting us to earnestly say, history is a heavy matter indeed. The maidens we honor here today died painfully fighting for their rights, the times were not at all like they are today. The laws of the land did not allow them to even begin to open their tiny little mouths. King Totua was unprepared for what was to happen. They defied the orders, forcing them to marry old warriors. So he ordered them all to perish. Today, we honor the maidens of Inuke Regiment. Heroines, we respect as we sincerely say they did not lay down their lives in vain. Their memory inspires us to open our eyes to face today's challenges. It is time for us, young and old, to empower ourselves, each other, to build the nation afresh, to make our, ancest to, to make our ancestors proud in this land of Umtania. Yes, indeed, history is a heavy matter, but a great educator, too. Courage, children of Africa, courage. Courage, children of Africa, courage, in it all of Africa. Are you prepared to sing with me now? I shouldn't be singing alone, huh? Are you all right with that? <laughs> You know, sometimes um, when you want to, to decide, to make a decision about something, 
you go around asking other people. How come some alarm going on? This thing of talking to the blackness. I left it when I left theater. I left theater in 1991, and I've only spoken to darkness ever since. Can you can you just give me some light or see the people I'm talking to? On hello, hello. <laughs> yes, yes. Since 1991, I've only spoken to darkness. Yeah. When people make um, decisions, especially decisions that affect other people, sometimes they just do it so cavalierly, and it's okay. But sometimes you wish when they are alone, there's, there's got to be a time when they are alone, where they regret making those decisions. Even we little people, when we do make mistakes, when you're sitting alone, you know how the pillow knows the truth. The pillow doesn't care how important you are, doesn't care how many awards you won, how famous, how well traveled. The pillow doesn't care. Yes, in, yes, I mean, the pillow is horrible, it just tells you the truth. Now, we need to wish that the people who are making decisions the world over who have that time, they've got honest pillows that make them feel that they need to regret. I'm going to ask you to sing with me now. Are you ready? Snebeazi <laughs> sola Sola, 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 sola. I was multilingual. I was like, sola, 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 sola. Sebe azi sola, sebe azi sola, sebe azi sola. Se ve así sola, se ve así sola, sola, se ve así sola, sola, se ve así sola, sola, si sola, sola, se ve sola, the fourth one, sola, 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 sola. Sola, 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 se ve así 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 sola. Se ve así sola, se ve así sola, se ve así sola, se ve así sola. Something is bothering me, sola. Something is bothering me, something is bothering me, something is bothering me. Se ve así sola, se ve así sola. Se ve así sola, se ve así sola. Something is bothering me, something is bothering me. Looks like you don't know, we all want people. Something is bothering me, something is bothering me. Looks like you don't know, we all want people. Something is bothering me. Something is bothering me. Looks like you don't know. We all want people. Sabea zi sola. Sabea zi sola. Sabea zi sola. Sabea zi sola. Sola. Sabea zi sola. Sabea zi sola. 
Se ve así sola. Se ve así sola. Where are the ladies? Where are the ladies? Something is bothering me. 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 Looks like you don't know. We all want people sola. Viva Poetry Africa, viva! Poetry Africa, viva! Poetry Africa, viva! Siabonga, siabonga.